Hello Internet, it's Stanley. Welcome to Night Talks. Tonight's about piracy. I argue that if you want a better product, the first thing you have to do is stop piracy. And this can be done by some crazy multinational corporate lobbying. This is a moral choice of every individual. Granted, companies, various companies are trying to push some rules and regulations and increase the punishments for piracy, but this will not solve anything. This will only make the pirates go more underground. If there is a company making some kind of software, let's say, and the software is bad, let's say the company doesn't value their customers, doesn't even care to protect their uh, private data they use to purchase the software, well, guess what? Don't buy their products and don't use the software. Often there are alternatives. Granted, they might, mean on, they might not be as convenient, but there are alternatives. And even, well, myself, I don't pirate, simply because there are alternatives. I don't pirate. End. Granted, I often get to some kind of pirated content on the internet that I can legally view without actually pirating it uh, again, I don't use torrents simply because that contributes to piracy. And if I get to content that I like and I want to support the interpreter, well, guess what? I buy the content. Yes, this is a CD that I actually bought. And the reason is that, well, they also kind of have to eat. So if I see a song on YouTube that I like, which granted was pirated probably by the original uploader, I'm going to buy the CD or the song or whatever and this is because I want to support the creator. It's exactly the same with software. If you get a trial version of something or even pirate it, whatever, and then you see, oh well, I like this software and I can actually afford it, why not buy it? Um, you might realize that a lot of software is kind of expensive and I would argue that one of the reason uh, one of the reasons of why the software is expensive is that a lot of people who could buy it are pirating it. And another reason is, of course, that companies are trying to make money and they kind of have to calculate in uh, the pirates. They have to realize that many people are going to pirate the software, so they have to sell the software for a price that will uh, pay for the development of the software, obviously. And so, if you want a better product, don't pirate. Support the content creators, and it can be music, it can be software, it doesn't matter. If you hate Microsoft, well, don't pay for Windows, but don't use it either, don't pirate it. If you hate Apple, don't buy Apple product. Well, pirating Apple products is probably kind of hard, so yeah, you can't probably really do that, but if you don't like a certain company or a certain product, don't use it, but that is not an incentive or a reason to pirate it. On the other hand, if you have something that you want to use as a student or to learn to use it, well, guess what, there are students' licenses. All of companies offering very expensive software like Autodesk offer student licenses, which are basically uh, almost free compared to the price of the uh, compared to the original price of the software so there are means there are other means which are perhaps not as convenient as torrenting it but you can get what you want you can get it done and you can do it without pirating it thanks for watching bye bye